everyone, Carson here, and welcome back to my channel. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you some problems you should be aware of when you are looking into getting some free VPS hosting. Before we do get into today's video, though, just a reminder, of course, to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And now let's get started. Now, free VPS hosting does actually exist. VPS, of course, being virtual private server. And there is actually a few providers of free VPS hosting on the market currently. However, free VPS hosting can be actually pretty dangerous, and it can be quite a problem if you are trying to use it as your own hosting platform. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you some of the problems with free VPS hosting that you need to be aware of. Now, the first thing you need to be aware of with free VPS hosting is going to be, in general, I would title it reliability. Because free VPS hosting being free, really doesn't have the benefit of being very reliable for you. You see, because it's free, the actual, you know, providers of that VPS hosting, well, first of all, a lot of them, the, the large majority of them are pretty shady, but they don't always have the ability to be reliable even if you find a good free VPS host because it is free and they can't actually ensure your uptime. This means that you're going to be having a lot of downtime and even some potential security issues with your VPS hosting. Now, another big problem with getting free VPS hosting, as I just mentioned, is the security and lack of support. The security obviously being a gigantic problem because when you run a website, when you do host your system on a VPS server, you want that uptime, you want that security, and you want that customer service. And that security obviously is one of the most important, if not the most important things about a web hosting platform. Because if your web hosting platform is not secure and has a bunch of potential breaches where hackers can get in and access your personal information, well, you don't need me to tell you why that is so dangerous. Finally, though, another big problem with free VPS hosting is the fact that they don't actually, obviously, as I mentioned, usually have good customer support. If they don't have good customer support and you run into a problem on their plan, well, you're basically out of luck. There's really nothing you can do if you're using a free VPS host. This can really be a big problem for a lot of people who aren't super technical minded. And with all of these problems, as you can see, I, I really don't recommend free VPS hosting. Now there are some free VPS hosting platforms you can check out that are actually decent. And there are some free shared hosting platforms as well. Like personally, my top free shared hosting platform would be triple zero web hosting. However, none of these free web hosting platforms compete with even the cheapest of paid web hosting platforms and the best paid web hosting platforms. Because of that, I am going to leave a link in the description to my favorite cheap free VPS of 2021. So you can check that out if you would like at a special discount. That is gonna do it for today's video though. So remember to leave a like, of course, subscribe and hit that notification bell and I will see you in the next video.